If you're a new parent, I mean, I'm an old parent. That still counts, right? It still Absolutely. counts. Absolutely. Okay, chances are you've read every book and blog to keep your baby safe and healthy. But could you say the same for your babysitter or nanny? This is such an important topic. First of all, thank you for giving me my stuffed animal what, for the what, segment. What, what, is that a lamb? I think it's, it's, a it's a unicorn. It's a unicorn. Is it okay if I hang out with my unicorn during the segment? You can. My little safety unicorn blanket? Yeah. But this is such an important thing. An alarming new study published in the Journal of Pediatrics examined more than 10,000 infant deaths and found that when parents weren't around, Babysitters, friends of the parents, even relatives, less likely to place the infant in the safe sleeping position of on their back. Oftentimes we take it for granted that everyone knows what's going on. Well, babies were also more likely to be placed in sleep environments with hazardous objects. You all have probably heard of SIDS, Sudden Infant Death Syndrome. That's the death of a seemingly healthy baby between one and 12 months of age. Physical factors can play a role, maybe a brain defect and infection in the child, but environmental factors can definitely increase SIDS risk, temperature in the room, sleeping position. So what experts advise is placing the baby on the back to avoid suffocation and overheating, and don't have any blankets, bumpers, tons of stuffed animals in the crib. They seem so innocuous, yeah. but a lot of common mistakes are made. So we're gonna go through three in particular to get your baby to sleep in a safe way. Yeah. Yes. Prevent those mistakes. I mean, just one little thing may save the life of your baby. That's right, but you know what? I know parents, I know mommies, and then a lot of them are freaking out right now. We're not saying we want you to never pull out that little black dress and go out. You have to go out. It's just that Absolutely. knowledge is power. And so we are empowering you so you can empower the people who will babysit Good. your kids. <laughs> So the first thing is you want to make sure you only use the mattress that comes with your playpen. I know sometimes you want to buy another mattress because it seems too hard, but when you're buying supplemental mattresses, they haven't been tested. So these mattresses and blankets, they're introducing suffocation risk for your baby. So this should not be in there. It is a risk to your baby. Don't do it. Leave it the way it came from the factory. They checked it out. They made sure it's a safe environment. All right, so mistake number two, Dr. Orden. Mistake number two is allowing newborns to sleep in the car seat. What babies do because their neck muscles, their back are not well developed, they have a tendency, those, those the head is loose sitting on, on their body and they want to assume that position. It's the chin hitting mm -hmm. the chest. Mm -hmm. In, in kids, the size of the airway is only the size of a straw, so much smaller than this. But that bending movement, watch this, mm. boom, mm -hmm. you get this kink. So it doesn't take a lot to obstruct that airway. So obviously, if they're in the car and they're sleeping, just check and make sure that they haven't fallen into this position. When you get home, carry them into the house, you can carry them in the car seat if you want but take them out of the car seat. That's the lesson. Do not leave them in the car seat because they're prone to uh, flex their neck. And the whole time you're doing it, please don't wake up, please don't wake up, please don't wake up. <laughs> oh no, you're, you're, you're like, like, yes, you're they like, didn't wake, wake up, up, they didn't wake up. <laughs> don't wake up. But here's the one mistake that people are making that could maybe cover your bases, and that is not having the conversation. So if you're going out for a night on the town with your spouse and the babysitter, maybe your parents are babysitting or the neighbor, have the conversation with them. Just make sure that they have the same game plan that you do when it comes to putting your baby down at night. And if as a parent you're not entirely sure, these are more than appropriate conversations to have with your pediatrician just to make sure. You could even take a picture of your sleep environment, show it to your pediatrician, say, does everything look good here? Is this appropriate? Is this safe? Because when it comes to your baby, it's always better to be safe than sorry.